Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about a pure inductive circuit. In previous video we have discussed about pure uh, inductive circuit. So, in that we have shown voltage equation, current equation, power equation and waveforms also we have shown. So, in what we have proved in pure inductive circuit is pure inductive does not consume any electrical power it will store in the form of electromagnetic field right. Similarly, here also we have to show the uh, pure capacitor circuit does not consume any power it will store in the form of electrostatic field. So, let us consider pure capacitor is connected to the al uh, alternating voltage source V is equal to V m sin omega t as shown in this figure. So, due to the voltage source alternate current will flows alternate current will flow so due to the alternate current uh, so capacitor will get charge. So, where charge is, uh, is equal charge q is equal to V e charge q, q, uh, q uh, charge will be q here right. So, now so, V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So, for getting the current equation what we have to do we have to integrate uh, uh, voltage equation. So, here uh, charge C is equal to Q by T. So, according to that, uh, so according to that, so I is equal to C into dV by dt you will get. Okay. So, right. Next one differentiate uh, substituting the Vm sin omega t by equation. So, you will get I m is equal to omega C V m. So, from that I is equal to I m sin of omega t plus 90. So, there in inductive circuit omega t minus 90 will come. So, here plus 90 will be there. Comparing equation 1 and 2. So, we find that there is a phase difference between voltage and current that is equal to 90 degrees pure capacitor. The capacitor in a pure uh, uh, current in a pure capacitor leads the applied voltage by an angle 90 degrees. So, instantaneous power P is equal to V i. So, V i V is V m sin omega t i is I m sin of uh, omega t plus 90 substitute uh, and uh, you can show that. So, you can show that uh, pure capacitor does not consume any. So, here P whatever the P is you are getting is uh, it will be equal to 0. Okay. So, here the pure capacitor does not consume any real power it will store in the form of electrostatic field whenever it is required it will deliver right. So, this is about uh, pure capacitive circuit. So, in, suppose if you ask in pure capacitive circuit what you have to write. Uh, so, first you have to draw the circuit pure capacitive circuit diagram what, what are they shown in this figure then uh, so you have to take voltage equation as V is equal to V m sin omega t. Then current equation if you want to do so we have to integrate. So current equation and um, current equation you will get I is equal to C into dV by dt. So V in place of V you substitute V m sin omega t and differentiate simplify finally you will get I is equal to I m sin of omega t plus 90. So here what we can say that uh, so here. So, if it is a voltage is a reference current leads by an angle 90 degrees. this is a phase diagrams. Suppose if you take current, so voltage is lax, voltage is lax by 90 degrees. So, okay. so like this you can draw the phase diagrams for uh, pure capacitive circuit. So, uh, come by using those two equations voltage and current equations you can find out the power. Okay. So, power P is equal to V i substitute equation 1 and 2 here and so finally P equal to 0 you can prove it. So, pure capacitor does not consume uh, any power it will store in the form of electrostatic field. So, this is about you have to write for pure capacitive circuit. In examination sometimes they will ask uh, uh, indirectly, indirectly you show that uh, pure capacitor does not consume any power it will store in the form of electrostatic field ok. That time you have to write about pure capacitive circuit otherwise sometimes they will ask directly explain pure capacitive circuit with relevant equations show that power in pure capacitive circuit equal to 0 power consumption in pure capacitor is equal to, equal to 0 that is the one thing ok. So, two ways they will ask otherwise sometimes they will ask you to draw the pure capacitive circuit feather diagrams. So, what voltage is reference, current is a reference or uh, what I have shown in uh, earlier right. So, this is about pure capacitive circuit and uh, next video, next uh, video we will see about uh, 
R L C series circuit. R L C series circuit. How it will be acts? What is the uh, uh, current equation, voltage equation for different cases? So when R L circuit acts as a pure capacitive circuit, pure inductive circuit, pure uh, capacitive circuit, how the voltage voltage equations will vary? How these performance? And what are the impedance equations? So those things we will see in the next video. So so this pure capacitive circuit you have to practice well, ma. So practice well since it is a very very important question. Maximum four five times they ask this question in examination. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you everyone.